Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to the third video of Playwright. In our previous video, we discussed about how to configure the gist and also we have discussed like how to run our test script with the help of npm test. Today, we are going to learn how to write our first script with the help of Playwright. So in our previous video, we have written this test where we have just launched our browser in the head mode and then we have created a new context and with the help of context, we created a new page and we load the website and we just closed. Now I'm going to use the same script, just going to copy paste and rename that as a um, login.test.ts. Okay. So once we load the website, then we are going to click on this login button here. So if I go to the application, so it's a let go dot in and I'm going to click on this login and here I'm going to enter the username, password. I'm going to click on the login button and then uh, we'll see like how this element is going to get disappear and we are going to click on the sign out button okay so very simple test cases so in this video we will we are going to learn like the functions like fill and how to find the elements and the automatic weight of the playwright okay so let's get started now so first thing first of course we need the locators and there are lots of way to locate the element so for example if you go playwright um, dot dev this is the official website and if you go to this docs and here we have this element selector so here you can see we have a lot of things we can interact with the shadow dom we can interact with the text selector and the css visible element xpath also supported and lots of things are there and we'll see one by one okay so first thing we are going to click on this login let me close this one yeah so first we'll we are going to click on this login button right so let's go and inspect and here we can see that it is actually within the a tag that means uh, it's a anchor tag right so here we have a text called login i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to say await page dot and the action we are going to do is basically click right so we'll just call the method click it's need only one argument the first argument should be the selector okay and here i'm going to say text equal to this login okay so let me use the double quotes and then I'll say text equal to within single quotes or else we can just write like this and we have to trim the text. Okay. So if the text, that means this is anchor tag and it has a text, right? So we can simply say text equals and then followed by the actual text, the trimmed text. Okay. That's it. So it's going to do the click action. After that, we are going to enter on this uh, email ID, right? So we'll just go and inspect. And here we can see that we have a CSS of input email name equal to email. So I'm just going to copy that. And here we are going to say await page dot fill. Okay, so fill. What is fill? Fill is basically like your send keys. If you already have knowledge on protector or the selenium, probably you can just do the compression. So click is exactly the same, but the click has an advantage here. It will wait until the element becomes clickable. Okay, so we'll see that in action. So fill needs two arguments one is the selector and this is the selector input name equal to email i believe that you already know the css the xpath all the other stuff uh, we have discussed about the css xpath more in detail in our protected tutorial so probably i believe you guys know that if you are new to the automation itself uh, you should learn the css and the xpath for xpath already in our channel we have a very good video so probably you can check that out okay now here I'm just going to pass my test data. So it's Kaushik350 at the rate gmail.com. And next we are going to pass the password. Uh, so let me go and inspect. And here you can see that we have this password. So let's copy and replace. Okay. And the password is password to three dollar. That's it, right? Next, we are going to click on this button, right? So it is button and it has a text called login. So I'm just going to copy this text here. And here I can say like await page dot click. And then I can say like it's a button where it has a text. So colon text and then followed by I can pass the actual text here. Okay. So this is how we can interact with the button. So here it's like button, the tag name and colon in the sense we are searching the button with this particular text. Okay. And that's it. So we are going to click on the login, right? So let's do login and we have to wait for that. Probably you can do that later on. But here we are going to click on the sign out button. Okay. So let's go and inspect the sign out. But if you see that there is a 
toast message right so we have to dis we have to wait until the toast message got disappear but let's see how this playwright is going to handle that scenario okay so here again it's a a tag with the text as sign out so we can just simply copy and we can say like await page dot click and then followed by we are going to say um it's a text so i can just pass like this as well it will also work so either i can explicitly say like text equal to the text or else i can just simply say text i mean without text i can just pass only the text that should also work fine so let's check now okay now um okay that's it i think pretty much fine okay so control j to bring up the terminal and if i say npm test that will go and search for all the test cases like test.ts test.ts and it's going to execute everything right so that's not a great idea we'll see how to run only one test in upcoming videos or maybe in this video itself okay so here you can see that it found two test cases one is the launch browser and another one is the login test.test .test, okay so first it is going to execute the login i mean launch browser and the browser should appear now i believe it keeps on running yeah so we got the first and we got the second as well okay so you can see that it logged in and we got some failure okay so we got some failure that's pretty much fine so the failure here is basically it says that uh where we got the failure in the login test we got the failure and uh, this is the test case of course and uh, okay we got because of the timeout error so timeout error in the sense um each and every test should be run within the five seconds that is the reason we are getting timeout error to fix that we have a very simple solution here just go to the package.json and here we have to introduce the timeout okay so let's introduce the timeout here i'm going to add comma and then followed by test timeout and this would be exactly same it's kind of keyword and here we are just uh, giving like two minutes so 1200 seconds in the sense Second something okay it's like two uh, two minutes okay so um that's it now let's go back and run so if we try to run this of course it's going to execute both the test cases if we have like five tens in our upcoming series then it's going to run everything but we don't want to run everything we just wanted to run one thing right so for that what we have to do is very simple first of all we need the just cli uh, so just go to google type just cli and get this npm js.com and from here we are going to do the installation as a globally okay so here i will say like uh, npm dash i i mean npm i just cli before that we'll just add the flag as dash g that means the npm will install the just cli in the global okay so we can use it across the system okay now we'll just say like um, just and then followed by we'll just name the test case so login dot test dot ts here we no need to mention the folder name or the package name nothing like that just can find the file by itself so here you can see that it's running uh, test slash login dot test dot ts okay so that's very cool in the gist okay so let's uh, the browser got op opened and it just click on the sign in and let's see whether it's, it is able to click on the sign out or not Okay, so he didn't click on the sign out let's go back here actually it's running so let's wait okay so here the test case actually failed and the reason here is it couldn't find the click with the sign out okay so uh, waiting for the selector sign out okay so what is the problem is basically okay so this is the mistake here so we have to give the text within double quotes i have given within the single quotes i mean uh, single quotes and then followed by double quotes so that is the small mistake here so let's go and run this now again okay so let me tell just and then followed by the file name okay so here we are using like text equal to login that's fine but here i just mentioned that sign out but i should tell that it's a string it's a text so i have to specify within the double quotes again okay so that means internally 
uh, select a starting from and ending so some some blah blah you can just read it here so if you write like login that will internally convert text equal to login okay so that's really cool now let's go back and check okay so here you can see that the sign out has been clicked successfully uh, let me just run it once again and show you so if you run the same script in protector or maybe in selenium that toast message is there and below that the element is there right the sign out button so in that scenario if you try to do the click action it will give you like element intercepted uh, exception kind of right but in product in play right just watch carefully the scroll bar is going up and down that means it's trying to uh, do the clicks on up down right left like that it will just try to here and there and then it will do the click action okay and it also waited until the element is clickable or else what will happen in selenium or a product it means of course we'll get to, we'll get the element intercepted uh, exception correct so that's good as playwright and we ha we have lots of things to learn so probably we'll just learn one by one uh, in our upcoming sessions okay and here the just gives you by default few of the uh, meta informations like it says that pass the test case is passed and it took like 14 seconds and then the this is the spec name uh, this is the test name and we have test suites of one we have test of one and the time and everything it's given us okay so that's it uh, we didn't write any of the assertion here probably we'll write in the next video okay so let me give you a quick recap so this is we already discussed just to create a context um, and create a new page and loading the website and here we are using this click function as we learned in the selenium or in the protector so text equal to login in the sense it will go and check for the uh, text that has the element has login okay and fill is used to uh, type something so it needs two arguments one is the selector and the second one is the value and other other than that also we can give some optional like uh, wait after or timeout like that okay and then uh, we have closed the browser so that the asynchronized calls will wind up or else it will the just will keeps on running okay so that's it for this video i hope you really enjoyed this and you have understood the importance concepts of playwright like the auto weights and all the stuff we'll talk about it more in detail in our upcoming videos thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon have a nice day